Music. My name is Diane Dish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a special program entitled Sights and Sounds on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Join us as we visit beautiful towns and cities along the way and bring you music from great churches and halls found along this famous waterway. Our journey begins in our first port of call, Boston, Massachusetts, and ends in Montreal. Thank you for joining us. from Boston is the town of Methuen, Massachusetts, the home of Methuen Memorial Music Hall. The music hall, built especially to house the magnificent organ inside, is a one-of-a-kind in North America, as is the organ itself. Few instruments in the history of American organ building have had as a distinguished career as the Boston Music Hall organ. The first concert hall organ in the country, it remains one of the outstanding organs in America.
Our musical journey leaves Boston as we travel the St. Lawrence Seaway on the MS Mosdom. Along the way, we enjoy activities and scenic beauty as we continue onward to Bar Harbor, Maine. <laughs> Located on Mount Desert Island, home of the spectacular Acadia National Park, Bar Harbor is a historic tourist town, offering salty sea air, soft sandy beaches, granite cliffs, and a slew of activities for the outdoor enthusiast. A 19th century resort for the wealthy, the town has several mansions, old majestic hotels, and other vestiges of its heyday. Our musical journey arrives in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Halifax is the second largest natural harbor in the world. With its well-protected harbor and its location near major fishing grounds and shipping lanes, it has emerged as a major port and military base. But Halifax is not only a place of beautiful sea and water, but also of parks and gardens where people may sit and meditate or take a stroll through the beautiful flowers. The main churches of Halifax is the Cathedral Church of All Saints, known as the first cathedral of North America and Nova Scotia. The present building was constructed in the early 1900s. It was exactly 97 years ago today that this church first held a service in this sanctuary. Of special note in the cathedral are the stained glass windows reflecting the Te Deum and musical instruments. The organ of the cathedral is a very large Norman and beard organ, 
consisting of 75 stops, four manuals, and six divisions. The state trumpet is especially brilliant as it speaks directly into the nave of the church. In our sights and sounds on the St. Lawrence Seaway, we journey on to Sydney, Nova Scotia, where we are met at the dock by an amazing sight. The largest violin we have ever seen. This violin was built by a local artist and welder. It is made of painted steel. 
It is 17 meters high and weighs eight tons. The motto of Sydney and this area of Nova Scotia is follow the fiddler. It was our pleasure in Sydney, Nova Scotia to visit and make music in the United Baptist Church. The church tracks its history to 1846 when on November 2nd, 15 people gathered in covenant to serve the Lord under the leadership of their Irish pastor. The church contains beautiful stained glass windows, including depictions of the Good Shepherd in the light of the world. From Sydney, our musical journey takes us on by way of seaway and ocean, delighting in the beauty of God's creation.
Our musical journey on the St. Lawrence Seaway takes us on to Quebec City, which is as French as Canada gets. At first glance, you may think you've stepped off the ship into one of France's Atlantic coastal cities. Vieux Quebec, or Old Quebec, has narrow winding streets made of cobblestones, gabled 18th century buildings made of granite and topped with steep slate roofs, busy and airy plazas whose fountains and statuary invite strolling. And casting a formidable shadow on the St. Lawrence River below is Chateau Frontenac, constructed to resemble a Loire Valley Chateau. The Iroquois Indians are first thought to be the first to paddle around the area. They called it Quebec, which means place where the river narrows.
name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today in our musical journey on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Our journey has been made on the Holland America MS Mazdam. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the joy of music. To purchase this or any of our over 500 DVDs and CDs, please call 1-800-933-4844 or check our website at www.thejoyofmusic.org.